Hi, in this video we're going to talk about how to keep your emails organized using mailboxes or what are sometimes commonly referred to as folders. The left side in this blue source bar here is where we're going to add new mailboxes. We're going to click this plus button down in the lower left corner and choose for now add mailbox or new mailbox. Okay, I can choose the name of what I want to uh, make. So, mm, so I'm going to create a new mailbox that says important things. This location bar right here is a really important thing to pay attention to. This location bar here is asking you, when you create this new mailbox, where do you want the mailbox and all the messages inside of it to be stored? It can either be on your computer, physically inside your machine that you're standing in front of right now, or sitting in front of, or it can be on the computers of the company that provides your email account for you. In other words, on the internet somewhere, not on your computer. Now for some of you that may seem kind of daunting because of what you may think to be security risks because you don't want your emails kind of floating out there in the internet but they're already out there in the internet anyway with the company that provides them to you and they actually have better security than your computer does anyway so with those fears allayed and um, the advantage is that if I store this new mailbox called important things on my email provider which is Gmail instead of on my Mac here then these, this mailbox and all the messages inside of it become available to me on any computer. Anywhere that I can check my email account, I'll be able to see this folder or this mailbox called Important Things. In other words, if you check your email anywhere else besides the computer that you're sitting in front of right now, it's almost a no-brainer that you want to keep your new mailbox on uh, your email provider, not on my Mac. Okay? That said, I'm going to click OK and go ahead and create my new mailbox. You'll notice on the left side here it is selected. If I click on it here it'll be empty. There are no messages inside of it. So I'm going to go back to my inbox and I'm going to take this email right here that is very important and I'm going to click and drag it so that my black, uh, the, the mouse, the black arrow is right on top of this important things for mailbox. You'll notice the blue uh, kind of square, the or a rectangle, the blue outline around this mailbox. Okay, With that there, I'll let go. Notice it takes it out of my inbox here, and now it's inside of my mailbox, important things. Okay. Similarly, I can just drag and drop any number of different you know, RSS articles or um, emails or whatever into here, and, and they'll all appear in my mailbox. If I want to change anything about this mailbox that I've created, I can go down to the bottom of the source bar here, click on my gear icon, and then I've got all these options here to rename it or delete it or archive it, which means to save it um, you know, for later, obviously, just like the word archive means. <laughs> uh, empty it out, take it online, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, but I don't want to change anything about it. I like it just the way it is. Now, these mailboxes are nice, and you can create mailboxes inside of mailboxes inside of mailboxes, and you can be really um, organized about it. But you still have to manually add uh, messages to them. You have to drag things into these mailboxes. Wouldn't it be nice if mail could do that for you? Well, it can, using a wonderful thing called smart mailboxes. I'm going to make a real simple example here. And they can be very complicated depending on how kind of advanced you feel setting them up, but I'll just make a simple one here. So I'm going to click the plus button here and say new mailbox, new smart mailbox. I'm going to create a mailbox for interlaced because I receive lots of emails from interlaced. So uh, if you receive emails from a particular person or a group of people that you just kind of always want to put into a mailbox and not leave in your inbox, then you can follow me through this and it'll do it automatically. So I'm going to name my mailbox interlaced. Okay. And I want this mailbox to meet uh, these particular conditions. A smart mailbox is smart because it's going to do everything automatically. You cannot add or remove messages from 
a smart mailbox. Everything happens automatically. The way that it happens automatically is by following these conditions that you set up here. So I want this interlaced mailbox to contain messages that match all of the following conditions. I'm going to make it so that the from, the sender, okay, contains interlacedink at gmail.com. By the way, just for the record, this is not our email address, um, really. Uh, you can send stuff to hello at interlacedink.com. This is just an example email address, by the way. Okay? So don't bother using it. Anyway, so uh, for my example here, I'm going to set up this new smart mailbox that will find any messages that now are from interlacedink at gmail.com, and it's going to put them in my smart mailbox. Okay? I could include uh, messages from the trash or from my sent folder, but I don't want to. In your case, you might want to check these on. Lastly, before I click OK, this plus button here will allow you to add multiple conditions. Okay? So, for example, I might say I want my mailbox, interlaced, to contain messages that match all the following conditions. The message must be from interlacedink at gmail.com and the message must be received before or after a certain date, or have a high priority right here, or contain attachments, or things like that. Okay? So you can fiddle around with this. It does get a little bit complicated, but play around with it and you'll learn it as you go. It's, can't break anything, don't worry about it. Um, so you can set up multiple conditions. One note if you are using multi multiple conditions, always check this feature right here, any or all. 90% of the time if you have a smart mailbox with multiple conditions and it doesn't work properly, it's because you've set this right here to the wrong one. Change it to the other any or all and that and it will work. This is your, for those of you that took logic in high school or college, this is your and or um, operator right here. Okay. Uh, if that was above your head, don't worry about it. Play around with smart mailboxes. You'll figure it out as you go, trust me. I'm going to click the minus button here because I only want my one condition, and I'll click OK. So it's going to create this new smart mailbox, and you'll notice it's instantly populated this with all of my different uh, messages from interlacedink at gmail.com. Okay? If I want to delete one of these, I can't. I'm hitting the delete button right now, or I'm hitting it here. And it won't let me. So, go ahead and create your smart mailboxes um, for people, or for based on dates received, or based on if it contains pictures, or whatever. Be creative with using your smart mailboxes, and it can save you a lot of time by doing everything automatically. Next, we'll talk about junk mail, signatures, and rules.